Hello people! Did you know that you can do animation in Autodesk Sketchbook? No? Let's see how can we do it. Currently, animation only works in the desktop version of the Sketchbook software. So, if you have the Sketchbook desktop, navigate to the File menu, go to the new flipbook and new empty flipbook. Here, in the flipbook properties, you can change the document size. After clicking the OK, you will see the UI for creating new animation. The UI is almost the same as in painting mode, but you have an additional timeline down here to be able to create the animation. Another notable change is in the layer stack because you cannot add new layers or change them. You have a background color and the background, those are static layers, the color is a color as it says and the background is a static layer that you will see with every frame. The midground and the foreground is where you will do the actual animation. Let me show you it quickly. I'm going to change the background color to something like this and I will add a background to our test animation. So going back to the foreground layer, decreasing the size of my brush a bit, I'm going to add just a little ball and if you want to create a new frame, a new keyframe, then you go here and you can add a new keyframe with the add keyframe button. And if you want to see the onion skins, then you can turn them on and off here and you can set how many onion skins do you want to see. Here I'm just painting another and another frame, you see, and I can go back and you see the previous and the next frames onion skin here. You can simply duplicate keyframes with this two plus button. It means that the frame is duplicated and you can use it for another shot. If you want to just delete or erase a frame, you can use the clear keyframe button. You may ask what are these numbers on the top of this menu. Here you can set the start frame and here you can set the end frame for playing your animation. For example, if I set it to 5, then it will just play the first 5 frames of my animation. This is the number of all of the frames in the animation. I can play the animation here. And if you see that it is too fast or tight, you always can add new frames with the insert empty frame button to your animation and increase the number of the frames that you see here. Another neat trick if you want to increase the size that you see from your timeline is to grab this little circle and pull it out or back. With this you can see your timeline is changing and you see more or less of it. And finally if you have an animation and you want to export it you can do this with here and export flipbook. Here you can create a PNG sequence or a movie file from your animation. I hope this video helped you and like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Goodbye!